<laughs> I caught you peeking presents. I nearly scratched one. I know I watched you do it. You little sh. Good morning and welcome to day three of Vlogmas, where I've discovered that I should never try and dress myself in the dark. Ow. Bloody hell, it's dark down here. Morning. What are you bloody hell's going on here? Smells nice. Dad makes a great cup of tea, but breakfast options, he's given me was it jam on toast, bacon roll, full English, or a new English, which I've never in my life had a new English breakfast, so I went for the new English, and I'm about to find out what it is. And knowing my dad, this could be anything. Oh my God. I mean, I, I'm impressed. You're gonna have to take me through it because I haven't got a clue what this is. Is that a Yorkshire pudding? A new English has to have four main components. Yeah. Egg, bacon, Sausage, and of course Yorkshire pudding. What's more English than a Yorkshire pudding? Oh, it's very, it's very, um, yeah, very English Yorkshire pudding. Basically. Very northern. What is this? That is a speciality. It, it says hello on it with an accent over the e, it's like a French way of saying hello. Hello. It's a hash brown. It's a hash brown with a. Oh my god! Mind, mind it. Whoa! Mind what is that? It. Cheese, crispy mind cheese. Cheesy crisp. <laughs> and in here as well, we've got beans with a cheesy crisp on it. I mean, this is spectacular, Dad. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. They've got to be well cooked, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air fried? One's English. Yeah, air fried. <laughs> one's English, one's American. Oh, is it? How do you know? Well, the English one has got a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. A tiny bit of sugar. Yeah. And a pinch of oregano. Right. The American one. Yeah. A tiny bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. A tiny pinch of sugar. Yeah. And a pinch of oregano. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm actually very impressed. You should be on uh, MasterChef. I'm very impressed, Dad. Well done. Let's try this. It's interesting. What is the stuff on top? Brushed with ketchup. Yeah, brushed with ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> um, Signature with mayonnaise. Oh, it's uh, mayonnaise for breakfast. I'm doing a Bush Tucker trial all of a sudden. Okay, right, here we go. Let's try. <laughs> I'm genuinely quite scared. It's actually really good. I'm actually genuinely impressed. A flavour combination that I, mean, I would never put it past you, but it's actually, it actually works. Because I guess this is what you get when you buy your dad an air fryer for his birthday. If you want the recipe, I'll leave it in the description. If I, if I, if Dad's kind enough to let me um, share it with it, because it might be his secret recipe. Grambo's New English Breakfast. I feel like my morning brain is still trying to adjust to the thought of having a Yorkshire pudding for breakfast. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Right, it's time to hit the dusty trail and head back home but dad's given me my annual christmas present of course it's the beano annual 2024 they don't age do they well the calamity james has got more teeth he certainly won't after he slips on that banana skin after a three hour drive i'm back home i've got a dilemma we have a slight issue <laughs> please don't stain the floor please don't stain the floor i think we are surprisingly okay Please don't stain. Please don't stain. Oh, there's a little stain. That's very, very irritating. Now you might be wondering, Joe, what happened? Did you get a nosebleed? Is it blood? What is it? No, it's not. I'll tell you what it is. It was Gusto's fault. Gusto, however you pronounce it, it's your fault. Look at my hands. It may not stain my floor or the walls too much, but it has stained my skin. I'm a big fan of these um, food box companies like Gusto, HelloFresh, all those kind of things. I think they're great. One thing I will recommend though, Gusto, their boxes are always red. Maybe pick a different colour because it, or use some sort of dye that's not going to seep into your work surfaces or your skin in the future. Just a little pointer. I mean, you don't have to, but just a word of warning. If you do use Gusto, Gusto, however you pronounce it, uh, make sure there's someone to collect it or pray that it doesn't rain. But I'm home. First thing I'm gonna do, well I say first thing I'm gonna do was sit down in the chair, but actually I'm paranoid now that I'm gonna get this red, red Gusto box ink on 
the new dining room chairs, which would not be a clever idea. So I'm gonna probably have a shower first. Um, I feel like I need it after that long drive. And then Diane's on the way home. I did stop off at the shops and do a food shop. So yeah, I'm back from my dad's now as well. It was good to see some family and spend some time with my dad before Christmas, because it's the only chance I'm gonna get now before Christmas, um, before the new year even. But I am back home and I've done a food shop just to get some essentials, like a Franco Manca tiramisu. I saw this, I never knew Franco Manca who do the, the their pizza restaurant, but they've got their own tiramisus. Um, I feel like a tiramisu. Although I don't look like one, I, I feel like one. The worst joke in the world, but anyway, I also got some mince pies because Christmas. I also got some cheeselets at a rebrand. They've a uh, new, new year, new them. They're no longer cheeselets and haven't been for a while, but they are now officially cheeselets at Christmas time. So I've got some of these. What is Christmas without cheeselets? Uh, I got some tonic water because I know Diane likes that. And the rest of the stuff in here, carrots, onions, beans, uh, and underneath here we have got a, a whole chicken because a few weeks ago I made a chicken and vegetable soup and it went down an absolute storm. Diane absolutely loved it. So I thought what I might do, well, she's on her way home now from um, choreographing her next two dances. Um, so I am going to, yeah, get the chicken on and prepare the soup. So then when she gets back, she'll walk into the door and go, you're my favorite person in the world. You've made the soup that I like. And then it's brownie points for me, because then she can help me put the tree up. I'm going through packages and opening things that have been sent to us. Um, and there's a package that's arrived. Admittedly, it's for Diane. She doesn't mind that I've opened it because I know what it's going to be. I don't know how this is happening, but the, she keeps getting sent bottles of Prime. I'm guessing this is a new lemonade flavor. But they're never addressed to me. It's always just to Diane. Me and JJ go way back. Now this one is addressed to me. And if it's what I think it is, I think it's something to do with skincare, some gifted, hashtag gifted bits and pieces. Uh, but yeah, it is, it's to do with skincare. So I'm gonna go through that when I do my wind down evening routine. I've been okay. turned like this. Why? Because my neck hurts. Welcome done, to my world. I've done a Joe Sog and Stains. done my neck in. Oh, your hat smells weird. Does it? Mm. I probably smell a bit weird. I probably smell like suitcase. You smell like something, yeah. Do I? Like a little Twang. Well, the thing but is, Diane's... I live out of a suitcase all week, so my mm. clothes just stink. Diane's hurt her neck. Mm, I actually really Diane's have. Diane's done her neck in, and she's got had so many questions for me about my neck. When your neck, I'm all fully what strapped up on my back as well. Really, I never get that treatment. And I'm like, like literally, I can't. You can't. You not look I here. I can go this way. I can't look. I can't look this way. I can Which look. your left? I can look that way. Yeah. See, I have. I can't look to my right. But I can't. I literally, I go there. And that's it. And, really? and this, like, you know where you can put, can you put your ear to your, like, yeah. that's fine. I, can't, I, I can't do like, it at all. cannot do it at all. Like, that absolutely kills. Welcome to my world. My I did this neck. as well before the show last night, <laughs> by the way. So when I was dancing, I was in so much pain. Oh, well, get yourself in the sauna and get some heat to it. But also, Ooh. I'm in the semi-final. Oh, yeah, congrats. Also, yeah. Guys, up. help us. Please help us get into the final this week. I mean, you're pretty if much you... there. What are your two, dan your two dances I'm away? I'm really happy with my two dancers. I just did the choreography, and I'm very, very, very happy with them, and I think Bobby's going to really excel in these ones. So, you, fingers crossed. You're two dances away from another final. Oh, Close your eyes. Follow, follow. Follow, don't trip. Keep coming, keep going, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Turn, I said to do that. And open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's all that stuff? Oh, that's presents and things. Ta-da! Oh my God, they're so nice. Oh, Joseph. Bit of you, innit? It is so nice. Oh my gosh. You smell so good. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Thanks. I keep smelling you. It's Normally really... I stink. Can you think what I'm thinking with these chairs? What? Do you th feel what I feel like with these chairs? What do you feel? Well, pretend you're eating dinner. What about them? Do you think that's r right? Yeah, it's yeah, all good. Because I feel like we've got quite small quads. Yeah. We've got someone who's got big legs. How are they going to no. fit under the table? <laughs> Your quad ain't going to be that big. Do you not though. reckon? No. Do you think it's a good height? I feel like... <laughs> no one's quad. 
is going to be that much bigger than ours. Do you not think that, that is a solid <laughs> But do you quad. think that, I mean, if they have got big quads, they can sit on the bench, I guess. Because <laughs> exactly. there's plenty of space that side. Say, so, before but, they come for dinner, just. There's a big, there's up. a big level difference between the chair and here. So if you're on the chair, you're quite high up. Yeah, but that's all right. Is that all right? Because if you sat there, you're almost yeah. slightly too low down. So I think tall people sit along here, shorties, shouties, so sit on the chair. Oh yeah. God, but let's place our bets. How long will it take before you get your red hair day on them? No, I've been so good. <laughs> I've, I've, I've washed my hair before I came today. All right, then let me check underneath your hat. Is it, is it the same color? Oh, it actually is. Fair play to you. A little bit of red there. Oh, still got the tag in, though. A <laughs> little bit of red on the tag. It's like Christmas Day here. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? Why am I so stupid? Did you see what I just did? Did you slap the turkey's I was to slap it with a spoon, like, like that. I just <laughs> spat juices all over my white t-shirt. Hey, I like your haircut, by the way. Thank you. I've had it cut. It so looks really good. I'm just cooking us a roast chicken, as it is Sunday. Not a toyki. Although, you'd think it would be because it's vlogmas, but it's not. And every now and then, I lately, I have been eating a bit of chicken. Yeah, you have. So, I've got us a, a roast chicken. That looks very raw. Have you seen? Oh, my raw? God. That looks raw at the moment. No. I've got to, like, um, it says put, run the, it's been, in, it's been in for 50 minutes already. 50? 50. No. And you've got to run the juices over its skin, apparently, like baste it or whatever. Yeah. But I can't get the juices. <laughs> so, I'm having to, like, put my spoon up its up. I was going to say, have you seen that TikTok where the mum, she puts another mini chicken in the, the chicken. in the chicken and she tells the little uh, girl to, think, yeah. and the little girl's like, now nah, I'm out. But I just feel weird that I'm sort of putting a spoon right up its bum to get juices out. Like, is that, why is the juice so brown up its bum? Can <sighs> I pick the spoon? Another 20 minutes and then that chicken's ready and then we're going to start soup and Diane's actually said that she's going to, she wants to help with the soup. But I think what she's trying to say was that it wasn't as flavoursome as it could have been last time. Although, you said you loved it. Yeah, it was good, but it could, be, could have been better. All right, well, we'll see how, we'll see how you, Ooh, oh, yeah. whoa. steady chicken. Steady chicken, on. Chicken run three. Uh, we'll see how you, all right, we'll see how you flavour it and see if it's any better. <laughs> the chicken is done and cooked now we're doing the veg i'm in charge of i wanted to cut but diane won't let me because she's a lot faster than me oh you would be here for days yeah and you but you go so fast that you lose quality i no. think yeah and you make you make such a mess that. Oh, my eyes. My eyes are falling out of my face. I can't see what I'm stirring. Am I still in the bowl? The pan? Oh my god, you really are. Yeah. Looks like I've just done two turds into a, a beaker. Um, do you put a leek in a soup? You can, yeah. Yeah. Shot that leek up. This actually looks like two turds. Like I'm whisking around two turds, look. <laughs> look how gross that looks. <laughs> it does. Step right up. Me watching my poo go down the toilet. Bye. Um, I usually put like a little bit of tomato puree in it as well. My God, that's a lot of veg. Don't forget we've got to put the chicken in as well. God, we are healthy. Genuinely can't understand how you make such a mess so quickly. <laughs> this kitchen was spotless. Because I'm so far. And you have just, yeah, but. What would my mum say? We're not say? in a hurry. What would my mum say? It's Sunday, you've got a bad neck. What would my mum say? She'd say, Dot, slow down. No, she'd say the apple doesn't fall far from the trees. What she'd say, say? look, splashing, look, just, you don't need to do it so quick. We're, we're not changing a tyre on a Formula One car. We are... I'd be well good at that. We are taking, yeah, you would actually, we are taking our time making a lovely, slow soup. That's where you get the flavour from. You speed it so fast that you, you miss out on the flavours. No, the flavour's You do. There. The flavours you know won't be there nice if you soup. cook it so fast. Peas. Tastes nutty. Got a weird taste. It's got a nut taste to it. Yeah. There's not nuts in there, is there? No, it might be the rice. Until the rice. Is and it's good. quite tomatoey. No, it's not. There's to me, that's yeah, quite tomatoey. But I tell you what, it's really bubbling away. Let's turn it down a bit. No, it needs to bubble because it's got a, the rice has to boil. Oh, uh, do you know what? That is enough to feed our entire road. But nothing says Christmas. 
like a chicken and vegetable soup. Yes. On a Sunday evening. Whilst you, um, oh, she's going for another taste test, look. Okay. Any good? Lacking something. See, and remember you were saying to me that you, you were like, move aside because I can make it flavoursome. It needs a little bit more salt. But some, you keep saying that. Mm. Really? A little bit more. Chuck half the, whoa, yeah, and another one. Go on, and another one. No. No? Really? Let's get a pledge. It's getting there. Oh, the rice has got to still do its ting. Remember the rice? Yeah. yeah. Where's the rice? And whilst Dottie uh, hopefully cleans up the mess in the kitchen and doesn't make any more mess, fingers crossed, I don't think that's going to happen, I'm going to head upstairs and try and locate our new Christmas tree. Because after dinner, I think we're going to try and attempt to do the tree. Right, I found the tree hiding in the shower, you know, where everyone keeps their Christmas trees. But I've just remembered we've got a tree with lights in, which is great. It saves having to put the lights on, but all the other baubles. Are up there. Back in the loft I go. This thing weighs quite heavy and I'm sure this is how the Egyptians move these giant blocks on slopes like this. I could just let it go but I'm worried that it would crash through the front door and down to the street below. It's also giving me flashbacks to the time me and Byron decided to go down my stairs when we were drunk. Cue flashbacks. It's a really bad idea. We need costumes, quick, follow me. I look like I come from the dentist. The Christmas tree you went for, this, a seven foot Canadian blue green spruce. I'm thinking seven foot should be absolutely fine. It's gonna fit nicely. But where I'm thinking of putting it, we've got options. We've got either this corner, so the other option is, and what I think would be better is putting it here between the dining room and the living room. And there's a plug socket there. So I think there in the middle with the presents all around here might look nice, but it's not just down to me. You're looking for your phone and your keys. <laughs> Can you do that? Where is it? Where is it? We've got three options. Mm -hmm. Either against this wall here, oh, plug, plugged into there, present sort of out here, yeah. or here in front of, so just next to that plug socket, so it's hidden behind there, and here, so it's between here and there, or, or down here in this corner, So my, my preference, mm. I think here. Okay. Because then it's like, because then you can see it, you can see it yeah. from the kitchen as well. If you're in the kitchen, you can't see it's behind that wall. So my thought okay. is here. Yeah, I Should we go there? Yeah. Lock that in? Yeah. So. I've genuinely forgotten mm. what this looks like. Have you? Yeah. Is it a green Christmas tree? It says blue spruce. What, you got a blue tree? No, I can't. But it's a fake one. Well, it's not going to be a real one, is it? <laughs> it's been in a box for, for four months. <laughs> right, now we've got to remember, we pack it back away again. And you pack it back away again. Yeah. Where, which bits go where, so it goes back in nicely. Right, I'll sit here and observe. Yeah, so this bit comes out first. Oh my God. What is that? Check this out. This is a really fancy tree, isn't it? This, it must be. It comes with gloves. Gloves to put. <laughs> look, not just one. Look. Oh my god. <laughs> what are for? Are they like little kids' gloves as well? Oh I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, no? Well, you'd think so. But troubleshooting tips. Probably told you how to put the gloves on. <laughs> Insert left hand. We're taking a break from doing the tree. I'll be honest, we haven't got that far. Dinner is ready. We've got the soup, <laughs> but I do feel like a Viking about to have a banquet. Is it nice? Hot. That is very good. Mm. Really good. I'm very happy with that. I added a little bit of Nancy's chili as well. Do you know how many times I did that dance? And there was not a single time that we ran the dance that I didn't do the lift. Not a single mm. time. You know, like sometimes you run the dance, you go, we're not going to do the lifts in this one. Yeah. I did the lift in every single one just to practice. We both know. We've both been there. You've been there way more times than I have, but 
when you're in the, the bubble of it all, it's it's massive and you see it differently, I think, to how some people see it externally. So like for me now, because I've not done it and been there for so long, I view it so much more as like a TV viewer. The way I see it is, if you zoom out from that one moment that you're unhappy about and that you're gutted about that lift, if you zoom out of that and look at it for, for actually what it is. 11 weeks ago, Bobby didn't know how to dance a single step. If you're gonna tell yourself on day one that Bobby was gonna do that lift on you, you would never believe it ever. No, I wouldn't. So the fact you even got there to do that song and do what you did, I think you have to take a step back, zoom out and actually go, do you know what? Even though it didn't come off exactly how you would have liked it to. Yeah. To even do that. To even attempt it in the first and place. And also, that was one lift of, but admittedly it's a big, it's a big part of the dance because that's just, because it comes to the dance. But let's not also forget the rest of the dance. Yeah. Yeah. No. Do you remember our semi-final week? Mm -hmm. So stressful, wasn't it? Very stressful. But do you remember, one thing I remember, oh my God, I'm such a quicker eater than you. Mm. Mine's still hot. Do you, yeah, I got metal mouth though, don't I? Yeah, you got metal mouth. Remember when we got all the like nice messages of support? Oh yeah. I love that. Yeah. The reason why you guys are all there is because we're all good. People are voted to keep you in, which, or you want to dance off, which means that it's not your time to go. That's the way I look at it. So whenever it's whenever that time is, that time is. It may come, may not come. Fingers crossed. I thought it was one of like this. <laughs> when can we open those presents? Not yet. No? Not today. It's not Christmas yet. It's beginning to look a lot like. Should we just leave it like this? Whoa! Shut. So I currently just did a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you say that? Huh? You say that? Yeah. <laughs> Joe goes, Joe goes, take my phone and tell him what you're about to do. And I was like, well, I'll tell him what I just did. Sure. I would like to pop on a Christmas something movie or Christmas Main Street. What was that? Oh, that looks like a bit of me. That looks like Amelia who wants to open a year-round Christmas store, bids for a shop against Vic, who wants to open a candy store. Not Vic. Oi, that looks like a bit of me. Oh, I have you back. <laughs> Why did we never do a rumba, Joe? That's really good. I channeled my inner Johannes. Your Jojo. Friend. Is that good? Yeah, it was very good. I reckon good. if I did that, well, isn't that the Craig would actually go, do you know what? Fair play to you. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Where did you go? Whitehall Garden Centre. Oh. How nice is that? Oh my God, that's so nice. I thought you'd just take them out and you hide them around the house. Yeah. I thought you'd just take them out of the house. Did he and get hide... anything Christmassy? He looked for a present for you and he has actually got you a present. Did he? Yeah. Oh, that's really cute. Um, but I thought you were supposed to just hide these around the house, like put them in different places, but I think you just keep them in the bag. That is and let it smell. I think we should put that near the front door. So that as you walk in, it smells like Christmas. Okay. Oh, I love it. Very on brand for you. Yeah, I love that. So I we got that. that. Um, and then, oh, this is, this is from dad for you. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? Is it an elephant? <laughs> oh, what is it? It's a pig. Oh, it's oh, not even a deco. It's got trotters. What do you mean? Is that because it's because I've got big fat trotters? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I got a Beano annual. You got that for Christmas from my oh, dad. Oh, that's cute. I thought I could probably go somewhere. Right, we're moving now into bauble territory. Try and guess what it is. Um, is it a chicken? No. That's a no. It's a wintry animal. No, that's its tail. It's a winter a, animal. A polar bear. Yes. Is it? A polar bear on a skateboard. Oh my god. Yep. 
polar bear so on a skateboard cute. with a scarf for the tree. Oh, I love it. This one. Oh no, it's been attacked. Oh no. Oh no, it's lost a bit of hair. It's got. Oh no, to be fair, it's got. In a way, it's actually worked out better. It's now got a mullet, which makes it even more Australian. Oh my god, that one's so cute. I love that. I'm trying to guess what that is. Is it a kidna? No. That's a porcupine for British people, um, basically. Cocky. Yeah, I love their little scarf. Got to be gentle with this one. This is a sheep. It's a sheep. <gasps> Covered in oh my God, that's Christmas my lights. That's my favourite one. Is it? That is so cute. The sheep. The sheep because of all the little lights on it. Yeah. That is so cute. And then second to last. These are so adorable. Now, you, I don't think you know this animal. Okay. Because they don't have them in Australia, and I don't think you've lived in the country long enough to ever see one of these, and they come out at night time. A wombat? No, we don't have those in the UK. What's like the British version of a wombat? Uh, a groundhog. No, we don't have those either. What's the British version <laughs> of a warthog and a groundhog and all those things combined? A snap. Um... No. It's white and black. Skunk. Oh, close. Squirrel. No. <laughs> um... A skunk is kind of close, but it's not. It's like a a platypus. Oh, it begins with a B. Beaver. No. Ba. Bat. No. <laughs> B. Ba. Ba. Bad. Badgers. Yes. Oh, oh I've a, never seen a badger in my life. It's a badger with a backpack. The last this one I got. So good. This was my favourite one. Oh, echidna. No. Stick insect. No. <laughs> <laughs> But you can see why I bought that one. Yeah, you would it was left on the shelf. It. it was on the shelf on its own, just staring at me with those little beady eyes. You would have thought about it for days if you didn't get it. Yeah, I would have been, I would have been kicking myself if I didn't buy that. Oh. And he's like slightly damaged, I think. He's remember, just... remember that bird that you um, walked past. That yeah, time? a little pigeon that was soaking wet in the rain. Still thought, think about it every day. Still think about it. They're really nice. Joe. Yeah. Um, oh, we need to go get our other ones down. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get the other ones, but you can start putting these. Well. Around the tree. Okay, I'll put these on. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> I caught you peeking presents. <laughs> I know I watched you do it. You little <laughs> shit. You are so bad, Dot. <laughs> I can't believe. I, love I can't believe I caught you. <laughs> you caught you. Peeking in presents. Yeah. Oh my god. Look, what are you doing? I'm putting one of them in my case. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? Like they always say, once a present peeker, always a present peeker. Oh, this is not how I left you two after Halloween. I'll tell you something, this loft space is quickly becoming one of my favourite <laughs> favorite parts of the house, purely for how organised it is for a loft. There's no way you're asleep. I can hear you listening to your music. Yeah, and I got really tired. <laughs> I'm inspecting to see if you've been actually peeking into his presence or not. I you... Dot. What? You come in come out here and tell me you haven't ripped into this and had a little peek. I didn't rip into it. I didn't rip into that one. Promise? I'm just saying that looks very suspicious to me. No, I didn't. Promise me. I promise you I didn't rip into that one. I can't believe. I'm gonna to have to hide presents from my own girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the ball balls down? Yeah, where do you think oh, I got that from? Oh, is that all them? Oh. Yeah, got them there. Oh, you got them. Yeah, remember this? Yeah, they're so weird. It's, it's probably one of the weirdest things I've ever done in my life. But in saying that, for one day of Vlogmas, I would like to make some more baubles, like these weird ones that I made last year. I want to make some more. So in the comments below, please leave me some suggestions. Like what can I make out of the stuff that I have?
make the weirdest, creepy, cursed ball balls possible. Whilst we uh, continue doing the ball balls, which I'm very impressed that you're still doing this and still put the ball balls on the tree. I didn't think you'd last this long. We have got Squid Games on, the challenge, which I've already watched. Um, I'm up to date, I'm waiting for this final episode to come out. And uh, first, honest opinions, first episode was a bit meh, but episode two onwards is wicked. Some of the best, best, TV I've watched in a long, long time. So if you want to give it a go, I suggest watching the Squid Games Challenge show. Take into account episode one, it's a bit meh. Um, but episode two onwards, really, really good. manifesting winning. Nice. Let's do a little check. These feel a bit low here. Maybe that one there. At the bottom. I know, but they're really low hanging, aren't they? The presents could go to me. Like you can, but I still feel like they kick them over, aren't they? No. And presents got gone underneath. All right, let's do it. Second, Our tree second, is full of randomness. Second to last uh, task. What? We're turning on the lights. No. <gasps> <gasps> can't reach. That's why I'm here. But we're gonna do it doing the lift. No. Should we try? Imagine you go flying over No, I wouldn't. Please, please can we try and do the lift? No. Come on. Let's hit the lights. Two. One. Uh, oh. What? <laughs> what? Why is it none? Oh, wait. Right there. Why are the bottom one's not working? Yeah. Oh, no. Is it not connected? I hope so. <laughs> oh, bollocks. Oh no! Whoa! You had the biggest stinker possible. Whoa! <laughs> We're gonna have to take off this bit higher. No! And rotate it. No, we don't. At the bottom. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't. Let's just leave it for now. <laughs> the plug is all the way around this side. Well, there's a will, there's a way. Yes, I put it, put it, put it, put it. Nice one. Hang on. Hey, do you know what I. Oh, I was like. I... You put these ones up because I was like, I didn't see these ones yet. What ones? Our little old man and old uh, lady. Yeah. Three, two, one. Wait, wait. Nice one. Oh, it stinks. Do you? It just gets more and more festive. There's a bit too much going on down there, isn't there? And then over here, the tree is officially done. This, I think, is our best looking tree that we've ever done. In terms of mixture of baubles, in terms of like bauble placement as well, yeah, just the, just yeah. like it just looks I very so even. Quick. It looks like the perfect amount of baubles for that tree. It actually does. It looks, and even like our mushroom arrangement at the top, look. I did that. It's in like a triangle, sh like a diamond shape. I'm very happy with mine. And I've always got like a favourite bauble of the year. Yeah. Now last year it was my weird, these weird like things that I made, this and this. Um, the year before that, my favourite ball ball was... The old lady and man. The old lady and man, yeah, at the top. But now, my new favourite oh, ball balls... Oh, can't go past the one with like, the family. Yeah, your family one's really cute. Um, but my favourite of this year are these right here. Now, these are vintage. God knows how old they are. But we've got a father, vintage Father Christmas here. And then there's another one down here. And these were given to me uh, by my nan, um, who very sadly is not with us anymore. Uh, but when um, when dad was sorting out all the stuff from, from our house and things, um, he gave this along with some other Christmas decorations to me. So these ones here uh, are my new favorites. And they always have prize, prize of place on our tree. We've also got Raticus to put somewhere. 
and unfortunately, we've also got one of these little shits. Now listen, you're gonna behave this year, all right? No mischief. Where am I gonna put you? Well, if it's up to me, I'd put you in the bin. It's not quite a shelf, but it will do. There's no way he's moving from there to cause any bloody mischief. But now that it's all set up and lit up and stuff, it's time to turn it all off. What a handsome devil. Because it's time for bed. When I say time for bed, not for sleeping. Ow, for editing. This today has got to go up tomorrow because I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I'm doing Vlogmas. You'd think to round off day three of Vlogmas, um, we'd end it with the Christmas film and there's plenty of Christmas films to get into probably at some point during this. How many days have I got left? Still got 21. Is it? I still got 21 days to go. So maybe we'll get to them another time. In the meantime though, instead, for our Sunday evening viewing before bed, we're going to watch The Hatchet World in Hitchcock. Doesn't seem too Christmassy. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave answers to the questions that I've asked earlier in the vlog. Uh, and also, uh, for this month only, enable notifications. The vlog should be going up at 6 p.m. each day, but if they don't, for whatever reason, have your notifications turned on, so then it will alert you when the new day of Vlogmas goes up. I won't ask you after Vlogmas. It's mainly... You got something to say? Yes. What would, like, what would you like to say? I'd love to ask if you could kindly spare three votes <laughs> for Bobby and Diane this Saturday night to get us to the grand final of Strictly Come Dancing because it would mean the absolute world to me, to Bobby, to Joseph, to my dad, my mum, my brother. And you've got a little <gasps> eyelash here. Let me make go. a wish, okay. Actually. I wonder what that wish is going to be. Do you know what though? I've actually had to sacrifice a selfish wish and I've, I've wished for something else. Good night.